In this video, we're going to be multiplying two digit numbers by one digit numbers. I'm going to work through six different examples. If you'd like to have a go at these examples yourself before we go through them, pause the video and press play when you're ready. Here is a calculation, 36 times 5. It's crucial to align the numbers accurately when using written methods for the four operations. So we have the ones in the ones column and the tens in the tens column. The number 36 has six ones and it has three tens. The number five has five ones. So now that we're set up, we're ready to multiply. First, we're going to multiply 5 by 6. 5 times 6 is 30. We carry the 3 below in the tens column because it represents 3 tens. Next, we need to multiply 5 by 3 tens. 5 times 3 is 15. We need to add the 3 tens below. So 15 add 3 is 18. As you can see, we're now into the hundreds column. So the answer is 180. Let's have a look at the next example. 74 times 3. First, we make sure the numbers are lined up accurately. The number 74 has four ones and it has seven tens. The number three has three ones. So now that we're set up, we're ready to multiply. First, we're going to multiply three by four. Three times four is 12. We carry the one below in the tens column as it represents 110. Next, we need to multiply 3 by 7 tens. 3 times 7 is 21. We need to add the 110 below, so 21 add 1 is 22. So the answer is 222. Here's another calculation. 53 times 6. First, we make sure the numbers are lined up accurately. The number 53 has three ones. And it has five tens. The number 6 has six ones. So now that we're set up, we're ready to multiply. First, we're going to multiply 6 by 3. 6 times 3 is 18. We carry the 1 below in the tens column, as it represents 110. Next, we need to multiply 6 by 5 tens. 6 times 5 is 30. We need to add the 110 below, so 30 add 1 is 31. So the answer is 318. Our next calculation is 85 times 4. First, we make sure the numbers are lined up accurately. The number 85 has 5 ones. And it has 8 tens. Number 4 has 4 ones. So now that we're set up, we're ready to multiply. First, we're going to multiply 4 by 5. 4 times 5 is 20. We carry the 2 below in the tens column, as it represents 2 tens. Next, we multiply 4 by 8 tens. 
4 times 8 is 32. We need to add the two tens below, so 32 add 2 is 34. So the answer is 340. The next calculation is 72 times 4. First, we make sure the numbers are lined up accurately. The number 72 has two ones, and it has seven tens. And the number 4 has four ones. So now that we're set up, we're ready to multiply. First, we're going to multiply 4 by 2. 4 times 2 is 8. Next, we need to multiply 4 by 7 tens. 4 times 7 is 28. So the answer is 288. Here is the last example, 46 times 8. First, we make sure the numbers are lined up accurately. The number 46 has 6 ones, and it has 4 tens. The number 8 has 8 ones. So now that we're set up, we're ready to multiply. First, we're going to multiply 8 by 6. 8 times 6 is 48. We carry the 4 below in the tens column, as it represents 4 tens. Next, we need to multiply 8 by 4 tens. 8 times 4 is 32. We need to add the 4 tens below. So 32 add 4 is 36. So the answer is 368.